Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a, another RTB Retro movie review. This time I'm doing My Bodyguard, not The Bodyguard, starring Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. Not that one. It's, a, it's, it's the My Bodyguard starring a very, very young Matt Dillon. Jeez. If you ever sit down and watch this movie, he's mad young. Like, wow. I'm going to show you how old that movie is. Anyway, um, but he's not the main character. Unfortunately, he's the main antagonist because basically it's about this kid who um, lives in the upper, the upper, the upper city of uh, Chicago. Um, you can say he's a rich kid because he, uh, his parents, his, his dad, I should say, I don't know what happened to the mom. I can't remember about his mom, but I know his, his, I know his dad and his grandmother that own a fancy hotel in Chicago. And I guess they had the kid go to public school so that way he could be closer to business. Because he used to be in private school. But since he went to public school, that's when he meets, unfortunately, Matt Dillon's character. Along with his, uh, his you know, thuggy friends. And they terrorize this poor kid. Basically, like, threatening him with, like, if you give me your lunch money, we'll leave you alone. And it's like, he's like, and he's, he's like, I don't want to pay you, man. I look, I look, I'm not looking for trouble. Just leave me, just leave me alone. And they, you know, they, they corner him in the bathroom. While, while, while they, they're telling him this in the bathroom. He's like, look, man, I need to eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to give you this money. But, you know, but he's, but he's, well, I know what you're thinking, but Rocky Blade, should you just give him the money? No. No, he shouldn't. He's a douchebag. Dude was a douchebag. At one point, I mean, it's never really spoiling it too much. He, he got something from the toilet in a plastic cup, and he went up and like, go ahead, eat it, eat it. I'm like, ew. At one point, he, like the uh, the main kid character smacked the whatever that was, the dirty water in Matt Dillon's character's face, and ran away. You know what I'm saying? But eventually, um, you know, you know, eventually his parents found out about it, and you know. He got in trouble. The parent, the principal, got him and his friends in trouble. Of course, it made things worse. It didn't stop. So he, there's this one kid, big tall kid in in, in the school, who everyone fears. There's like, he looks at like the type. I mean, not to sound harsh, but he looks like that type of kid that will do a school shooting, like one of those kids. Like he's like, if you like put in a lineup, and if you like, if you line up a bunch of kids. He would be like an obvious suspect. You know what I mean? He's one of those. And, um... So he knows... So the, so the main character can notice that this big tall kid... Like, no one wants to mess with him. Not even the bullies. Because when they corner him again in, in the bathroom... When he came out the bathroom from smoking... It looks, it looks like... They immediately left. They're like, let's get out of here. And, like, he noticed that. So it's like... It's like, yo, man... Can I hire you to be my bodyguard? And, um... You know what I mean? So that way, these thuggy kids can leave him alone, and 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 that's what's actually what he did, and um and 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 he, and he scared them off once he did, and um because eventually he didn't get his services, and um and he scared off the kids to leave him alone, and 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 the cool thing about it, well, like about this kid, he's not those like those rich snobby kids that thinks he's owed everything. He after you know he did him the favor, he wanted like have a friendship with the with the kid but you know the kid you know was kind of a loner he didn't want to like be with anybody, be with anybody or talk to anybody but the movie basically about him trying to like befriend this this kid and you know and find out why he is the way he is it's it's a good it's such a good movie um it's a very simple plot um it's not like you know revolutionary or like like mind bending, like The Matrix or um, Wanted, but it's such a good movie. It's a good movie with a good message, which is wh what I got from it is two things. One, don't judge a book by its cover. You know, he looks like I, I said earlier, like a mass shooter. You know, what I'm saying that there's a reason why he is the way he is. I won't spoil why, but it's it's very tragic to say the least, and you know. Not the bully kids, man. I mean, 
let's not bully kids. And it's a, I mean, I know it's like a classic. It's like an old saying, like, like no dull rocket blade, of course. But it's just we're not doing that. We're still bullying kids. We're still treating kids like crap. Cyberbullying, bullying them in person. I mean, for God's sakes, we're bullying kids just because they have the generic default skin in Fortnite. It's gotten that level of petty and bad. It's insane. It's like, my God. We have kid, we have a one story that the little magic you know, kid has a uh, that dwarf kid that was bullied to the point that he wanted to kill himself. That's how that's how sane this guy. So I know it's like a message, like okay, we've heard this message before, but still, it holds true. It's a very anti-bully message, man. And I like they like because eventually they did stamp to the bully. I'm sorry, I should mention I should have mentioned that. I'm kind of spoiling stuff here and there, and I apologize, but it's an old movie. I'm not. I'm not giving away too much. I am leaving some things out and how how it got resolved and what ha- and why everyone fears that the big tall kid, and, um, in the mo- in this in the, that goes to that school. But still, it's a good, surprisingly good movie with a good message, good acting, especially with the young the, those two young kids. That's a young, rich kid that owns a hotel. He he's. He did such a great job acting wise. I know people at the crap house saying, "Man, kid, act- child actors suck. They do terrible. They're like, they're you know, they, you can't, you know, they can't emote and you know, be taken seriously in movies." The young that kid did a great job, honestly. I'm surprised they didn't see him in future movies. But then again, you know, it was an old movie. Got maybe got to look around and see. But he was a good child actor, and the and the big you know kid that people feared. He did a good job too. He he did it. He did a, He did an excellent job, and you know, you feel that chemistry. You know, like them at first, like you know, not wanting to befriend the kid, but eventually, they got that chemistry. And I, I like the scenes of them hanging out together, getting get, getting to know each other, finding out what they like and dislike. And um, it, it was it was a touching, it's a touching movie. So it's a good movie. I like it a lot. Um, it has a good message. Um, so it's a very feel good movie. So the tour is like the the like there's one scene, which I won't spoil what happened, but there's one scene I'm like literally screaming at the movie, like kick his ass, kick his ass. Oh my god, I was like it was like so it was like one scene that was so just hard to watch, it just left me frustrated, it's like, oh god. You know what I mean? It was like that level of like intensity, but you know, but eventually that that big climactic double fight kind of the Leona and I loved it. it it's definitely worth the price of the mission alone, but um, it was a as I said, it's a good movie. It's called My Bodyguard. Go see it. I cannot recommend it enough. It's it's a fun movie. It's a definitely a fun, fun, uh, old school movie. And again, it, it, when you know, for those of you who know who Matt Dillon is, he's like really again. I know I know I've said this before. I gotta emphasize. He's like mad young in this movie, mad young. So it's like. It goes to show you how old this movie is, but uh, yeah, man. But but you know, it's funny because when I was watching this movie, I thought it took place in um in New York. It took place in, took place in Chicago. Okay, it looks like something. It, it looks like you. Would th- it looks like New York, but it's not. You know, it looks like it, it's it takes place. You know, it takes place in Chicago, but still, it's a um, good movie. Good message. I I, I really enjoyed it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I said, kid, for those who say kid actors can't act, they can act. I like some of the supporting cast characters too. But too some of the other little kid, kids, when when the boys got finally got kind of confronted, they were like flipping them off and like <laughs> talking crap to them. I, I love it. I love it. Oh man, it, it, was, a, it was a good time. I'm, I'm glad I saw it. It was a good movie. Um, it's on the PlayStation Store. I think it's like really cheap if you want to buy it. Uh, it it's out there on. Um, Check Amazon, uh, you know, Amazon, Walmart, another PlayStation store, an Xbox store. In terms of movies, they have that as well to buy. In fact, that's where my brother bought it from. It was, um, like I said, it's a good movie overall. Go see I know I'm not saying a lot about it because I don't want to spoil too, too much. Because that's how good this movie is. I want you to go and experience it yourself. It's a, it's a fun movie with a good message. And I, I hope you really, really enjoy it because... 
I sure as hell did. Okay, I saw it not once, but twice. <sighs> Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed the, my uh, retro review. As always, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, Rock and Blade signing out. Hopefully, you guys are real soon. Peace out. Have a great day. And again, please, please, please be safe. All right. Bye-bye.